Hey guys, this is Michael Gass with PBS Equipment. Today's video is on how to do print and cut and eliminate jamming. A lot of people ask us about cut order and what they mean is how do I do my outside cut, then my inside cut, or how do I determine which cut I cut first? And the answer to all that is you do not determine that. You set up the job correctly and raster length will determine the most efficient way to cut your job. So you cannot set up a cut order. Well then the question comes, well what if I want my outside to cut first? Then I can cut my inside second or my inside first and then cut my outside second so they don't have jam issues. And the answer to that question is, if you set your job up correctly, you will not have jam issues. And so what we're going to do today is show you how to set your job up correctly. So the first thing I want to show you is this little guy right here. So we purposefully picked something small with a lot of detail to show how we did our inside cut and then we came back and did our outside cut. This job actually did the outside cut first, then the inside cut because we had our cut set correctly so that we don't jam. So if you follow the directions that we're going to show you here, you won't have jam issues. So the first thing is you want to set up your perf and your kiss cut correctly. We've had a couple videos about that, but we'll go over that a little bit in depth. So you assign your cuts so that your kiss cut barely cuts through the media, then your perf cut cuts all the way through the media and the backer, but it also leads the perf. So a lot of people don't understand or don't use the perf function, and when you don't use that, you are going to have jams. Also, if your blade protrudes too far, you are going to have jams. So the first thing we're going to do is this job just finished printing and we're about to cut this job and you're going to see we're going to cut a whole bunch of these stickers and you can see again the detail in this and we're going to let this job cut and then we're going to go back and talk about how we can cut this job without worrying about any jamming. So let's, um, let's roll this down and see what kind of job we did. So first off, how hard is it to get them out? That's how your job should come out. Now when we talk about a perf cut, see these little perfs hanging out? Those are your perfs. That's what holds the job in place. And that's what you need to make sure you know how to do and you know how to set up the job. And let's see how our inside peels out. comes right off no problem so we got a real good inside cut and we've got a real good outside cut again this is a very complex cut I picked it on purpose for this job so there we go I do need to weed those out but that's okay so let's see how the rest of these did how, how are we going to come out on these they all come out no problem at all so let's talk about how we can achieve that first thing is blade depth blade depth is very very important if you don't get your blade deep enough it's not going to cut through if you get your blade too deep you're going to have a lot of sloppy jagged end cuts and a lot of jams so let's talk about blade cut first thing I'm going to do is pop the blade out here Now we want to set our blade depth, I've got two pieces of media, whatever the media you have loaded in the machine, set the blade depth for that. So I'm going to take one piece of media and set it on top of another, I'm going to take my blade and I'm just going to square it up and I'm going to make a draw. And what I'm looking to do is cut all the way through my media and just kiss my second piece. Now, I've got just a light score on this. I don't know if you can, can we pick that up there? How about it, Mr. Cameraman? Can you see that light score that we've got there? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's all right. You, so what you're going to do there is you're just going to have to practice until you cut all the way through 
and just lightly, lightly score beneath it. Too deep, your blade's going to hang and you're going to have jagged edges. Not deep enough and you're not going to be able to cut all the way through. So once you set your blade depth, then we're going to set our kiss cut depth. Now, the way I run my machine is cut one is my kiss cut and cut two is my perf cut. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go to a test cut. Roll my media down a little bit, get that out of the way. So we're going to go on a UCJV, this is the, the way you do it, on a CJV or another machine it will be a little bit different but it will be comparable. I'm going to go to tool, I'm going to select cut one, my pressure is at 25 grams. Now that I've got cut one selected I'm going to hit test cut and I'm going to hit enter and it's just going to cut a little square. Then it's going to feed it forward. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to peel off that little square that it just cut. So I cut an inside and an outside square. That's my test cut. And what I'm looking for is good square straight edges, which I've got. And then I want to see it just lightly kiss my backer, which it did. So I've got a good setup on my kiss cut. Now we're going to go to the perf cut. That's a lot more complicated. So now I'm going to go back to my test cut. I'm going to go to cut two, which is my perf cut. So your half cut, cut all the way through the media, perf cut, those are all the same thing. So I'm going to go to tool, and I'm going to select cut two, which is my perf cut, and I've got it on 120 grams of pressure. So once I've selected that, I'm going to go back to my test cut and I'm going to do a test cut on my perf cut. And what I'm looking for is that I've punched all the way through the media and this time I'm going to be able to punch out my little square. So here's my square and you can see that it pops out nice and easy, nice and smooth. That's what we're looking for. So. Adjust your kiss cut till you're just getting through the media and lightly scoring the backer. Then your, your perf cut where you're cutting all the way through both. It's better to start low and come down because too much pressure on your perf cut is going to give you uh, jagged edges and it's going to ruin your blade. It's going to do your blade quicker. It can't even break the end of the blade off. So once we've done all of that, now we're going to go back and set our perf cut. So. Um, Let's take a look at the screen up here. So these are our perf cut directions. And uh, if you need this as a document, send me an email and I will send you this. So on your kiss cut, you only have one setting and that's your blade depth, which was 25 grams. On your perf cut, you've got four settings. You've got your cut pressure, which cuts all the way through the media. You've got your cut length, which is the length of your cut. You've got your half cut pressure, which is going to cut only through the vinyl. Then you've got your half cut length, which is the length of your perf. So, you know, when we look at our little perfs that are hanging out on the end of this, and you can just barely see one right there. So let's look at how we set this up. So zoom on in here and let's see if we can get on this screen. So now, We're going to go back to cut two, which is our perf cut. So we're going to go to tool, we're going to go to cut two. Our pressure is 120 grams. That's what it's taking for this blade at that depth to cut all the way through this media. Then we're going to go down here to half cut. It needs to be on. And then we're going to have half cut pressure. Our half cut pressure goes through the vinyl, not through the media. That is going to be the same as our cut one or our kiss cut pressure. Those numbers should always be the same, which is 25. Then our half cut length is the length of my perf, which is 0.5 millimeter. 
and my cut length is the length between perfs, which is 20 millimeters. So on all of these images, all these cuts, you can see every 20 millimeters, which is almost an inch, not quite, but almost, every 20 millimeters I've got a perf. And these perfs are 0.5 millimeters long. And again, you saw how easy that popped out. So when you set it up this way, a couple of things are going to happen. Number one, it's going to securely hold it in place while you run the job. And number two, it's not going to come out prematurely and have a jam. And number three, when you're done, you can just pop them out very easily and go ahead and weed it. And then you're, you're all done. So that is how we do a perf cut and a kiss cut at the same time. And that's how we eliminate jams on a mamaki. If you have any questions, please email me at my email address, mgas at pdsequipment.com. And thank you for watching. And as always, check us out on YouTube and uh, become a member of our YouTube page. Thank you.